Gunnery.dk Livstilsmagasin for mænd. I've come to a small airfield in Switzerland, where he's getting ready to take flight. Hello, Eves. Hello, Hi, I'm Daniel. Daniel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Wow, so this is your wings, huh? Yes. So these are the engines that uh, push you to the air? Yes. 22 kilos, that's about uh, 45 pounds each. So with four, I have uh, a nice big guy pushing me in the air. Do you ever feel like a superhero? Don't I look like? He's now about to do the seemingly impossible. hundreds of feet below us. The only way he's going to be able to fly in formation is if he flies back up. This will prove he isn't gliding. And to add to the pressure, he only has enough fuel for around six minutes of flight time. doubt that Eves is flying through the air, not gliding. He's the first person in the world to do this. He's flown up into formation. And you can see how he's constantly using his body and hands to make precise alterations, allowing him to actually fly. nearly 13 miles, Eve's fuel runs out. To come back down to Earth, he opens his parachute. The Wright brothers may have been the first to fly, but Eve Rossi has now pioneered a new era of flight with the fusion of the human body and modern technology. Eve Rossi proves to all of us that anyone with enough dedication and courage can become superhuman.